It's cool. It's cool, right? It's cool, right? It's cool, right? That's pretty cool. I have Avatar The Last Airbender for Weiss Wednesdays. Let's go. I'm thinking about doing a thing where I do like Pokemon Mondays, if that makes sense. And then I want to do like Weiss Wednesdays or like Waifu Wednesdays or like Wednesday My Dude Wednesdays. And then on Fridays, I want to do like Funko Fridays or something like that. Let me know if that's something that would be interesting for you guys. But I haven't opened up some Weiss in a little bit of time, as well as the Avatar section as well. So I've been looking to try to get one of the freaking Aang cards. There's like a thousand dollar Aang card that's in here. So let's see. We have our Qatar promo. I think I've opened this like three or four times and like three or four times have been Qatar every single time. So there we go. OK. And I like that. I know that there's a pack trick just like Pokemon now where I can do four from the back. Now, I believe in this box, there will be some heat in here. I haven't done a signature card in a while, and I would absolutely go bonkers for a Siggy right now. But let's see what we can do. Yes, sir. That's the only way I can view Toph in my head. What we got here? Leaves from the vine. This scene will never not just be depressing as heck. Uh, we got Appa, Katara, and... Sokka. The only hit I've gotten from this thus far has been the Sokka signature card. Uh, at the time it was like a hundred and something and I think it's fallen down pretty steep since then but that's okay. All we have to do is replace it with a cool card. Okay there you go. I haven't even watched the live action yet. Have I uh, been slacking? Absolutely. Do I have Netflix? I don't. Someone in the comments below, please let me get your Netflix login. I would appreciate that. But yeah, I wanted to try to get my uh, my weeks a little bit more organized. If I do three videos a week, I want to try to do some kind of schedule where I upload Pokemon on one day, like Weiss and Waifus on one day, and then like Funkos on one day. So I came up with the idea of Pokemon Mondays. And I know I just said that earlier, but Pokemon Mondays, Weiss Wednesday or Waifu Wednesdays and then I want to try to do something Funko or Freestyle Fridays or something like that to give myself some options. Oh, we got a pretty nice Suki card. So let me know, is that something that would be um, of interest for you guys if you want to follow along? I've been trying to figure out what worked and this is this is what's working. So we got four from the back. I really, really, really hope at least if we get a non-signature card, the uh, SR that we get will be at least pretty cool as well. We got Sokka. Wow, okay. Well, we got Katara versus Azula. One of the best fights. Uh, I definitely like that it was right after the Agni Kai. Very, very awesome. And what do we have? I would take that as an SR. That would be pretty neat. I know One Piece just dropped, and I was thinking about getting some One Piece stuff at my shop. I literally sat there and I contemplated for that minute, but I just don't know enough about One Piece. I know this is an Avatar The Last Airbender video, but if you guys like One Piece, should I do a One Piece video? I've been contemplating doing some other kind of things, even if I don't know about them. Or should I just stay like in my realm, like the tips I talked about before with the Funkos? Let me know. We got the Aang double R. That card really said, hello, Zuko here. Zuko and his character development is absolutely crazy. I think it's honor, honor, honor. And then it's like, my dad still don't even love me. And honestly, I can relate to that. Anyways, uh, we got the, the yin yang koi fish. Very cool. People addressed when Toph was holding this up, she's holding up the entire freaking library on top of sand. Not just the tip, but like the entire library. I don't know if that's canon or not, but that's impressive if that is the case because that building has got to be massive. Air scooter and... Aang, okay. Have you guys seen Avatar The Last Airbender? I know there's some people who haven't even seen it and then they may have seen the live action for the first time or they've seen it and then they've seen the live action. But I know people who have actually never seen it. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. I feel like if you didn't watch it when it came out at its peak, then you'd kind of have like a different perspective of Avatar The Last Airbender with the generation like the mental state that we have when we watch this as a kid versus watching it now are absolutely different. Oh, that's pretty cool. A triple rare invention of metal bending. Very nice. It's not a bad card. Hmm. I recently um, had a friend who told me that they had watched Avatar for the first time and we're like in our 20s. And when I watched it, when I was like not in my 20s, it was very, very different. 
and I have the Blu-ray and I was gonna go back and I was gonna watch it but then I was like it's on Netflix but then I also don't have Netflix and I also don't have a DVD player so I was kind of conflicting of trying to watch it but I feel like if I was to go back and watch it now it wouldn't have that same kind of like vibe from when I was a kid that was all the packs on the right side we got one triple R I feel like I always ended up getting a triple R and then I end up getting the card with stinking Katara and Aang on it what a nice signature card I want Weiss to do the things where I get nice best decision of this man's life you had to trust the ugly phase but then when he grew it back oh snap all right well I kind of just went through all that there we go Luckily, there was nothing in there. That was so depressing. And it's crazy to think that these shows are made for kids, but then they have such great messages. I recently was watching this TikTok where it was um, Jake from Adventure Time talking about like, I don't know, he's essentially just talking about like things and demons that he's been putting to the side, but that's been what makes him him and stuff like that. And then it was like a montage. I'm like, there's no way this show is for freaking kids, right? Um, it is for kids, which is impressive. I'm about to start a series, man. I'm about to start a challenge. Day one, video one, opening up Avatar Last Airbender until we pull, I think it's an SEC. I don't really remember uh, what the rarity for this set is, but day one, I'm gonna make it a thing now. I'm just gonna do that until we pull the crazy hit from here, unless we just do it here in one video. So far, it's not looking that way, but we better lock in, I believe. There's at least two more hits in here. I wanted to open up some freaking little whatever recoil. And I realized there's only like one hit and I just... Cactus juice, it'll quench ya. It's the quenchiest. Uh, there's just not a lot of hits in there. So I'm not going to waste my time with it. But is there a hit here? Oh, that was... That was the card. Four packs remaining. Either we're marinating or we're going to be suffering. I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll figure it out. One, two, three, four. Uncle Iroh. <laughs> What about all the murders he committed? What murder? I don't actually know if Iroh killed anyone. Is that canon? Is he actually a bad guy? Could you be a general and be a good guy? We got the, what, she was the Miss Lady. I forgot her name. Jeez Louise. It's the final three packs. I have not done my three pack jingle in quite some time. I haven't, I haven't been to my card shop in about a month and I haven't opened up like new product in quite a long time for you guys. I was working on the card pit card party video so that's what i was i was doing let's see if we can go some third pack magic though real quick let's see what we got last card no dishonor on you homie from the card shop says he was not having luck and uh i figured that meant one of two things either he opened up all the bad stuff for me or i'm also going to have bad luck and so far i mean i guess if there's a pack there's a chance but let's see, we have two packs and one hit. So unless they want to give me a signature, I'm going to need them to fix this. Last pack magic? Am I tripping? Are you not guaranteed three SEs or uh, three SRs? Unless they give me a signature here, I'm going to be very, very confused that I'm going to get one triple R. Let's see. All right. Lock in now. Air scooter. Come on. Okay, Suki SR. It's cool. It's cool, right? It's cool, right? It's cool, right? That's pretty cool, right? So we only got two cards. Uh, we got a triple R and an SR. So here we go. We have our tough metal bending. Learning that for the first time. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm coping, guys. And then the Suki card. I mean, it's not awful. If they would have stamped it or something, it's only like a $10 card, but I feel like I was kind of jibbed. Let me know. You think I was robbed? Maybe. I feel like I was robbed. But that's it. If you guys did enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. It's absolutely for free for you. I'm definitely going to try to create more of a schedule to help me and help you guys. If you guys want to stick around, awesome. If you're seeing one of those videos pop up on screen, feel free to check those out. And aside from that, guys, take care and comb your hair.